Roaming West Virginia is back. Another installment of showcasing what all you can do and see right here in our state. Our Jeff Schrock visited one county that offers a historic district, a New Deal settlement, and of course, buckwheat cakes. You know, there are a lot of small towns all throughout West Virginia offering unique and wonderful things to do. So we decided to open up the map and make our second stop on Roaming West Virginia right here in Preston County. Preston County offers a variety of attractions for a vacation or a day trip. You can take a walk through an historic district in Kingwood that offers colonial homes, an old gas station display, and during the last week in September, you can enjoy the taste of buckwheat cakes during the county's annual buckwheat festival. The Cheat River is a nearly 80-mile tributary of the Monongahela River that runs through several counties in this part of West Virginia. One activity that is well known is whitewater rafting and kayaking. Just in this one little stretch of river, you've got essentially a river for every ability level. And there are commercial rafting companies that do a great job of rafting. There's some, we saw some rafts already out there today. You're paddling down these beautiful gorges and you're watching the seasons change and this, this scenery is just spectacular. Traveling back to Kingwood, I decided to take a more closer look at this old gas station display in the heart of the city's historic district. It reminds you of an era where stations provided gas service to all motorists and a place to talk about the day. Next, we made a 15-minute drive from Kingwood to the town of Arthurdale. Arthurdale was the nation's first New Deal subsistence project championed by First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt. Modern amenities not commonly available around the country at that time, electricity, indoor plumbing, and refrigerators were provided to all 165 homes constructed by the federal government as a way to help families during the Great Depression. So it got a lot of attention being the first, and there were ultimately 98 communities that followed after this one, and they're across the country. Siebert says it requires a lot of fundraising, and she enjoys being a part of it. All of the work is fun and fulfilling. I get to live in one of the museum buildings, so that's really neat. I love my little house and the community. They're really, really wonderful to work with. We have a lot of volunteers. It's really fun. You can certainly make a day of it or a weekend out of it. This is just a small portion of what this part of West Virginia has to offer. If you want to learn more about our visit here in Preston County, visit our website at WBOY.com. With Roaming West Virginia in Preston County, I'm Jeff Schrock for 12 News.